she jumped up waving that shoe in the air, and I thought she was finna bust me upside the head. He was in my face like one of his pit bulls, just cursing me, calling me names. She doesn't know what move you're going to make, and it is frightening. And you have no right to frighten the people that you love, and a woman has a right to feel safe in her own home. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. With 13 marriages between them, Melvin and Rosetta are no strangers to divorce. They even divorced each other once and then remarried. Now they're back in divorce court once again. I need a divorce. I've been married eight times. I've been married to this woman twice, and I just can't take it no more. I am sick and tired of his controlling ways, and I am here today for a divorce. I am done. Will 13 be their lucky or unlucky number? Judge Lynn will find out today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Mr. Melvin Avant and Ms. Rosetta Caraway Avant. Mr. and Mrs. Avant, the two of you have been married for, well, it depends. <laughs> it's not that easy of a question. You two have been married to each other twice. Yes. And this is the second time you were married to him. Yes. But between the two of you in toto, and I do believe this is a divorce court record, you have been married 13 times. You're responsible for nine of those. Eight. Eight of those, okay, and the rest are yours, correct? Okay, yes. You sh what, don't say okay if oh, it's not. Right, you're if, right. Have I got it right? Yes, okay. you do. Okay. You, you want to get divorced yet again from each other. Mr. Uh, Avant, you are seeking $1,400 from Ms. Caraway Avant for a half of the amount you say she received from the sale of her wedding ring. Second ring. Well, well, let's, we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Before we do, I want to start with Mr. Avant. Why don't you tell me why you feel this second go-round with the missus didn't work out? Your Honor, I feel like that I've been with this lady for almost 10 years, back and forth. She's a good woman, perfect woman. She's almost a black angel. But let me tell you something. Between her family, between our finances, mm -hmm managing it, and the menopause. Menopause and finances will bust up any marriage. I mean, I'm telling you, hot flashes, you know, it's unbelievable. And laying that butt naked sweating all over the place is not sexy. Oh, my God. You know, it's just not sexy. What's the most irritating? You, you said three things. Her family, her finances, and her, her menopause. Of the three, which is number one? I think the biggest argument we probably had is over the finances. I number one. Tell because me what's of the happening. management. The management. You know, she she makes more money than I do. But yet and still, she wants me calling light company, phone company. I've been in my house over 20 some odd years. Uh -huh. She I ain't used to calling telling folks I can't pay light bills and stuff. Check this out. When we got ready to manage our bills, I said, what are we going to pay? She said, I got a phone with, my, with, one of, with one of my family members. I got an account with one of my family members. I got another account. She paying on every, with everybody, everybody else's paying bills, everybody bills. And she How can't take that out. my finances and everybody else? I said, well, who are you? Okay. Uh, Ms. Mrs. Avant, why don't you respond to that? Do you not have money, and are you paying for everybody else's bills? No. I paid all the bills. The phone I have, my daughter pays that bill every month. I, I, every bill was paid. Our lights weren't shut off. If you feel that she cannot appropriately uh, handle the finances, why don't you take it over? Because that's not how I was raised. My mother and my grandmother paid all the bills. All my See, daddy did, put the yeah. money on there, and let them handle the finances. See, I take care of all the physical stuff, the like the yard thing, and you know. all this kind of stuff, yeah, and but, the car you know, and stuff. M m Mr. Avon, let me tell you something about I, that's not how I was raised. Right. That's how I, not how I was raised is, is a, is a non-thinking response. It's right. that, I can't decide on my own what works for me. I can't, I can't make those decisions. 
So correct. even though what worked for them isn't working for me, I'm going to still do that. Well, you got to throw the finances right there in the middle of menopause. I don't even know when to ask her about it. Well, the, well, oh, well, when well, you're well, sweating now, Mr. going on, let, she's let, jumping let, up Mr. like the Tasmanian devil or something. You don't know when to ask her. She's having the hot flashes. She's having the issues and the agitation. She's spilling over on you, no doubt about it. That's the, that's, right. that's the party that's, that's there. Right. I that's get right. that part. But don't you think you should have some kind of compassion for a person who's going through a natural life change that can, in fact, at some juncture, be somewhat difficult? You would if not the phone ringing all the time. The phone rang. She got to go here. What is it now? The phone rung well, so much. what does much. the phone have to do with menopause? Nothing. I Nothing. don't know what it has to do with it, Nothing. but I know one thing. If she, you know what? If she not with, with, with her family members like she want to be, she laying in the bed. Sometimes she stay in the bed all day long just laying there. She's a lovely woman. It's hard for me to say and something bad. But she's I cannot joke. sit there and go through all of this. Bill, I mean, the phone is a ring. I don't think her family paid no bills. You know I, 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 got, I got your complaint. My own personal cell phone. And she walks around yeah, hang on, with Mr. Avon, give me a, give, give, give me a second. Ms. Avon, he's spoken about several issues that he doesn't like about you, particularly family finances and menopause. You, you know, you got to get over the menopause thing. But uh, why don't you tell me what your concerns about your husband are? I think he's just lost his mind. He's, he's controlling. <laughs> I, you know, I can't have any friends. He, if I go in there and put the food up after I've cooked and put it right in front of the refrigerator in the front, mm -hmm. he has a fit and say, why you put all of this in front? You know, and if I come home, I've been out all day, I come home, I take a shower, just come home and go straight, speak to him, go mm -hmm. straight to the shower. Ah, oh, I've been messing around. He said, that's a whole move. No, that's a whole movie. Uh, Miss Carrie, let me ask you this. The first time you married him, was he like this or is this new? It's really not new, no. But he promised me that he was going to change, and I, and I believed him. When Divorce Court continues, what will Rosetta's daughter reveal about her mother's marriage? Ms. Williams, what do you see when you see this marriage? You got problems with your mate? Call me, toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Rosetta Caraway Avant, who is divorcing her husband for the second time because she says he is too controlling. But has he gone even farther than Rosetta could have imagined? He was always telling me he wanted me to leave. I neglected Ms. Jessica Williams. Ms. Williams, how are you? I'm good, you Judge. Are how are Ms. you? Ms. Av Mrs. Avant's daughter. I would like you to come forward, please. Ms. Williams, what do you see when you see this marriage? His, she never ran. Mr. Mr. Avant's main issue is family. He's saying finances. His main issue is family. He doesn't like the fact that she is close to her children. Got it. As far as him saying her being gone all day, my aunt just died of cancer in November. My mom was at her bedside tirelessly, mm. and he had complained about that. He did not like the fact that my mom was up at that hospital with my aunt. He did not support my mom during my aunt's illness. Mm -hmm. All he did was complain about all the time that she was spending away. Yeah, mm -hmm. honor, that's he, a lie. Hang he on, Mr. did Avant. not come to that's the funeral. Hang on, Mr. He did not Mr. come Avant. to the wake. He was, in my opinion, a horrible husband. Okay. And when you say horrible husband, give me some examples of the things he would have done or said that you found offensive. He called, told my mom that she was an evil person, that she had an evil spirit. That's why people were getting sick around her. And the, let me tell you this, Judge, the first time that they were married, her father died of cancer. The second time that they were married, her sister died of cancer. I told my mom, if anything, it sounds like he's the evil spirit on you because things keep happening to your family when he's around. Did you, in fact, tell your wife you felt she was an evil spirit because those about her were getting I answered? told her. I said, oh, Dina, you need to do some praying. I have never. I got nine children. I ain't never seen kids with this many problems. 
They call every who talks every single day. And I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't a battery or a tire or something. All the time. No. It's like nothing. Oh, right. okay. a- a- hang on, okay, hang on. Judge, ask her. I'm about to. What does she know be, be bad quiet. about you? I never on. took her money. Mr. Rabon, never be Mr. Rabon. Uh, Rabon. Never Ho. robbing, never Ho. disrespect. Ho. Hush. Are you involved a great deal with your family in a financial and, 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 and temporal way that would in somehow make him feel a little neglected? Because sometimes you can get too involved no. with your family. No, ma'am, I'm not. My kids, it's just us. It's always been just us. And there if they go. call me and said they have a flat tire and they need me to come and help them, I'm going to go help them. What, what's wrong, what's with, wrong that? with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? And if you call me... What's wrong with it? Yeah. I got my children, okay? When they call, it's happening. I graduated. I got a raise. I learned mm-hmm. Spanish. You know, so well, you're, every you're, time this phone I got rang, it. I holler, what is Maybe. it? Okay, now, Mr. Vaughn, let me ask you this. You tell me how is it you've gotten married and divorced Because I was times. working at night in a nightclub, in the hotels and stuff. And when you're working in hotels and stuff, you're around a lot of women, and a lot of them couldn't handle it. She changed all that. When I got with this woman, she changed me. I totally changed. And the problem I got with her now, Joe, I'm telling you, it's no. what she, it's Joe what she want got. Joe Well, it's Joe, what she leave, got. Leave Joe alone. What do I have? She got well, you good know- loving. When Divorce Court Continues. But when she jumped up waving that shoe in the air, and I thought she was going to bust me upside the head, I knew then the party was definitely over. Mrs. Avant, did you try to bust them upside the head with something? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Melvin Avant, who wants to divorce his wife for a second time because she spends too much time with her family. Judge Lynn has dismissed Rosetta's daughter, Jessica Williams, as we rejoin the case. Tell me about the house. There was something you were concerned about with respect to the title to the house. Oh, well, he... Because he was always telling me he wanted me to leave. And this is my house, and I want you to leave. And, you know, he was right. He's been there over 20 years. Right. My name isn't on the lease uh-huh. or on Promise. the title, you know. So, okay, it's his house. Ask what happened to I her house. I respected him. Ask what happened to her house. Before I do that, Mr. Avant, if, you, if you'll oh. allow me, I'm going to ask you, did you, in fact, remind her repeatedly that if you were unhappy or things were wrong, that you would invite her to leave? I said, I've been here 20-some-odd years. I ain't used to calling people about being late on nothing. Now, if you can't get yourself together and all this drama with these people calling here, but all this kind of can yeah, on her, that's, that's a well, lie. Mrs. Vaughn, I, 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 I see clearly now. I know because what's happening. You... No, no more needs to be said. Mr. Vaughn, why don't you tell me what the final straw was for you and why after marrying her twice, mm-hmm. you were with her like one and a half years this time, right? Yeah. 18 months? Yeah. Why do you want to divorce wife number eight? We get in an argument. And when she, when she was sitting in that chair that day, and I told her something, I don't remember exactly what it was, or I ain't never seen it, but when she jumped up waving that shoe in the air and I thought she was going to bust me upside the head, sure. I knew then the party was definitely over. Okay. And that's uh, what broke the spray. Now, let try. me tell you this. No, 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 no. Mrs. Avant, did you try to bust him upside the head with something? I thought about it. I was very yeah, angry. I, cause he was but in my did, face. Though. He was in my face like one of his pit bulls, just cursing me, calling me names, and just ranting on about an argument we had the day before. I said, please leave me alone. I said, stop, leave me alone. And he was just in my face, so I grabbed my shoe before I mm-hmm. really knew it, and then I put the shoe down and I pushed it. And then that he was right. Mm-hmm. When I put my hands on him, that was the last straw. Yeah, yeah. When I put my yeah, hands on him. You can't put your hands on people. Yeah. I don't care. But, 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 but I know, and I'm going to say this, though, Ms. Aaron, I know why she did it. 
She was afraid when a guy as big as you gets that close, I don't care how much you love her, how much she loves you, you get that close to a woman and you hollering and you're bellowing and you're angry, it is intimidating, it is frightening. And you think that just because you haven't touched her or moved her or adjusted her, that that's not rattling, but it is. She doesn't have the capacity to defend herself against you. She doesn't know what move you're going to make and it is frightening and you have no right to frighten the people that you love, and a woman has a right to feel safe in her own home. She frightened you don't... with the suit. Yeah, well, I understand that, but it, it, it was wrong. She put it down, but you put her in a position of, of, of fear, and you can't do that. When divorce court continues, does Judge Lynn have Melvin all figured out? I know why you get married so often, and I know why you get divorced so often. Divorce Court returns with the case of Melvin Avant and Rosetta Carraway Avant, who have been married to each other twice and are now seeking their second divorce. Tell me about the $1,400 you're seeking from Mrs. Uh, Carraway Avant. Well, the first time we got together, I bought her a ring. Right. Second time we got together, I bought a ring. Then I added to the ring. Mm -hmm. The ring was worth probably about five grand. That's what, right. my, that's what the, the guy sold it to. But then when we got the ring... That's the ring you're talk referring to? Well, that's half of it. She, she added... You added uh, to it. Ten down mm -hmm. and five on each side. The thing was so big, I don't know how she wore it because it was like sparkling everywhere. Mm -hmm. But as soon as she and left me... And showed it to everybody. Look at him. Look at him. he was proud. Look, the night she left, she brought a whole group in there. I couldn't say nothing. You got 15 women here. Who am I going to say something to? Oh and they God. marching out of here with my stuff. Here we go. I know why you get married so often, and I know why you get divorced so often. Exactly. You get married so often because you're a character. You're, you're a nice looking guy, you're a solid citizen, and you are funny. You are, you, you, you're big and boisterous. I'm sure everybody around you enjoys you. I bet you're the best thing at a party. Yeah, everybody, you, you, people gravitate to you. You have a great personality. I'll tell you why you get divorced. You I get ran for no, no, board. stop, 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 stop. I tell you why you get divorced. Because you think it's all about you. No. You think, no, 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 no. You think a marriage, you, 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 you get a woman, you don't want to deal with her medical issues, you don't want to deal with her family. Your, your kids call you about all happy stuff because you're not a guy who deals with other people's problems because no, you, I no, 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 hush. I'm talking. Okay. And, and, and the minute somebody brings you some static or some discomfort or, or, or they need and you have to give, you are no longer available because that is not what marriage is to you. Marriage to you is you bring to me, I receive, and don't you cause me no static. That's what you've been telling That's me true. since you've been here. That's true. Mm -hmm. I believe Look that. And, 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 if, and, and, if, and if you go home, be quiet, sit in a chair and think about it and think about all the women that have divorced you or you've divorced, what happened and why you will find that that, in fact, was the case. Now, let me tell you about the law. The law, first of all, you are fabulous. She You're looking is. sharp with she the gray do. hair and the just, as soon as the, you know what I mean? When yeah, I go home, I cut all this hair up. I'm gonna look just like you. That's number one. Thank number you. two, don't feel defeated by the fact that you tried twice and couldn't make no. it with him. I, hey. I love him. Hey, would you stop it? Go sit down. <laughs> so tired of you. Uh, he's charming. Don't take him back. You tried twice. You gave it your all. He is who he is. He will not change. It is working for him. He will find another wife. He apparently has no problem doing that. Yes. You, you, you got a family that loves you, and you can find somebody that's going to love and give, and, and he is not the guy. Having said that, I will say this. Uh, the law is when you give a woman your, a ring, it's hers. Period. End of story. No give backs, no nothing. It's her ring. She has absolutely no obligation to return it. Go forth. It, you know, ladies, if you see him coming. Wow. Now, why are you putting You that know, out right? There? Right? Wow. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Thank you. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. The one and I love you. I ain't gonna never forget okay. you. But if we lived on an island room. somewhere, we would still but be together. But we don't live on an island. Well, Melvin says he's moved on and has met a new woman who makes him happy. He says he will definitely file for divorce.
Rosetta says she still talks to Melvin frequently and is confident the two will remain friends. Rosetta also suggests that she's open to the possibility of reconciling with Melvin.